Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Plunderer Episode 7. Now, in the last episode, Hina finally ended up reuniting with Licked after so long, seemingly out of nowhere, because we know the episode before the last one... Wait, does that make any sense? The episode before the final jail and Licked fight is when Hina and Nana started traveling to find Licked. And last they heard, he was heading towards that town that was inside of that giant mountain. And so, Licked and Jail fought there, and then after their fight, Licked ended up leaving. So I would assume that Hina and Nana would have headed there, they would have realized he wasn't there, and then they would have had to start over. But apparently, they ended up bumping into him, or Hina ended up bumping into him specifically. And then, later into the episode, both of them ended up bumping into a brand new character, I think her name was Pelom? And she was all about planes, all about discovering flight, but apparently going out and researching and discovering flight was banned. And so even though this was her dream to fly, it was kind of against the law, so she had to work on it alone. And then here, she ended up bumping into us, and she ended up revealing to us her final plane that she's put all of her hard work into, and actually with a little bit of help from Licked, she ended up maybe perfecting it. And so she was about to take it outside for a spin and then Lick saw that the military was actually coming because they caught wind of somebody working on flying machinery in the area and so Lick cut down her plane before the military could see it so that she could get away but at the same time that plane was tied in with her number all we know is that cutting down the plane is what brought her number down to zero and she ended up being dragged into the abyss after failing this experiment and so she ended up getting dragged away and honestly it was kind of sad because she seemed like a really cool character we literally just met her halfway into that episode and now she's already gone so that just shows like everyone has their own number and it could literally go down for any reason you never know when someone's gonna get dragged into the abyss so anyways if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content, make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description, and also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. Alright, so this is the part of the episode where you guys will grab your source videos. If you don't have one of your own, I'll have one linked in the description. So all that you have to do is click the link, bring up the video, and get ready to sync it with me, because we'll be starting episode 7 in... Three, two, one, go. All right. Let's see, I wonder where we even go from here. Because we got away from jail. And um, our little side story with Pelham just ended. Maybe we're finally going to find another one of the aces? Dang. Oh yeah, he has been alive for hundreds of years. So who knows how many people, how many friends he's seen get dragged into this abyss. And he'll never know what it feels like. Because he's immortal, like he can't be dragged in for what we know. Or from what we know. Oh, did he leave again? Okay, he's just washing his face. Alright. I know, Hina, she would have been heated if he left again. I see. Okay, you got us, anime. You scared us for a second. <laughs> Man, but there's definitely something on Lick's mind this episode. And I wonder, that actually has me thinking now, 
Because we know that Hina's number goes up for the number of kilometers that she's walked, right? But what makes her number go down? The only time we've ever seen it go down was when she was challenged by that fake ace. And he took some of her number. Hmm. Also, they mentioned way back in the beginning that if somebody has a higher number than you, then you kind of have to follow their orders, right? Or something like that. So I wonder if we're ever going to see that come into play later into the anime. Hmm. Because technically, with that logic, couldn't Jail have just commanded... Well, no, no, no. I don't think he could have commanded Licked, because Lick, he's a exception. Like, he he has a pretty weird number. Like, he has minus 999 on his hand, but his sword is like 5,700, so I don't know. I don't know, man. We just won't count him on that list. But maybe it's not like... How do I explain it? Maybe it's just like that's how it works in society. Like if someone has a higher number than you, then you're supposed to follow whatever they say instead of you literally having to. Like your body can't help but follow their orders. Dang, these guys are loaded. They got fruits and veggies for days. But that's probably because no one's buying the vegetables. <laughs> oh, yeah! We didn't see this, right? We saw the, like, number on his eye, but... We didn't see what happened after. And there's our usual licked. Oh snap, you can't run for long. Oh snap, I don't know, Hina might get jealous again. We caught you. <laughs> Dang. She flipped the script on him. Oh snap, he's starting to sweat bullets now. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you got some explaining to do, Lick. You did. Oh! <laughs> Nana's not letting him go anywhere. You've ran for long enough, Lick. Yep, that's true. Dang. I mean, hey, Lick was the one that started this. What? Oh, cooking battle, cooking battle, okay. I thought they were actually going to throw hands. Honestly, we do know that Hina can cook pretty well. Wow. <laughs> well done or rare. Oh snap, she's not going down without a fight. Oh snap. Honestly, I don't know, man. I'd say that Lynn's is looking better so far.
At least when it comes to the outfit. Such a cute wife. Dang, she's getting a little bit of everything. What are you gonna do with all of those? <laughs> Wait, why'd she kick him? I guess that was involuntary. Oh, and she's picking, like, wild ingredients. Oh, snap. I knew something was weird about that bush. Wait. No, what? What? She's about to cook up some bear? Oh, no. Wow, okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe Hina might not be this cute, innocent girl we think she is. She's out here hunting bears. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like, well, when you put it that way. <laughs> Oh, snap. Now we got a tag team going. She got a boar, too? What the? Well, I guess she has been, like, living on her own this whole time. Traveling from place to place. She had to have picked up some sort of foraging and apparently hunting skills along the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm scared of Hina now. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I would not want to get on her bad side. Oh! Oh no! That censoring is so weird. <laughs> She's just over here slicing this bear open. And freaking flowers are coming out. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, it's... <laughs> dude, honestly, if she would have just cut it open, it would have been a lot better than what we see now. Because I'm actually imagining it's a lot worse than it probably is. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I had the same expression as that dude spilling his beer. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I don't think that's a skill that you'll need. <laughs> Man, he is kind of nuts. What is that weird concoction she's made? <laughs> Honestly, I'm like heavily leaning towards the lens. <laughs> and then he knows. Jeez, what the heck? This is like some witch's brew right here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> she looks way too innocent. To be cooking something that vile. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably gonna taste amazing though. Knowing Hina. Is he worried?
All right. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to call it right here. I think Lin's is going to taste terrible, and Hina's is going to taste amazing. Just because. <gasps> she pulled a tsundere! <laughs> Showing off new moves. <laughs> All right, not bad. Well, we don't know yet. Oh my gosh, whenever you see like smoke, like noxious fumes coming from it, I wouldn't even want to try it, man. Then again, when it comes to food, I'll try anything once. So. Dude, it's gonna taste amazing. I can already tell. Maybe it's not, and he might have to break her heart. I knew it, dude. I knew it. Or is he faking it? There's still a chance he might be faking it, not to hurt her feelings. Oh, well, I guess not. Wow. Who would have thought? Make a miraculous comeback. Poor Lynn. Dang, honestly, what feeling would you say is worse? If you did terribly and someone did better than you, or if you did really good and someone was just one inch better than you? Which one do you think would hurt more? Especially when you both are competing over, I guess, competing over someone in this situation. And someone was just a bit better than you. Oh, snap. Big Bad Jail is here. Fun police. That's true. How do they always get sidetracked? Well, I guess it is Lynn, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Oh, snap! <laughs> He's like, that's not gonna happen today. <laughs> Dang. Why does he always gotta trash the place, man? You got one target, just aim for him. Exactly. Who's gonna fix these floors? Definitely not the military. Dang, man. I almost forgot how insane that sword is.
They're going at it again, man. It's been one episode. So are they, like, coming out of the ground as spikes and then launching into, like, little shurikens? Oh, snap. You brought out the gauntlet. Or I guess they're, like, they're kind of like tonfas. Why do you keep trashing the place? Man, I hope they have insurance to cover these damages. Yeah, right, like, we all know. That was some weird timing. Okay. Alright. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, blame Jail. All Licht has been doing is dodging. Jesus. What a mess. Oh, from the little violin. I thought that it was over. Oh, snap. She caught you. Better keep those thoughts to yourself. It was delicious. Alright. The end of another nice episode, I must say. Honestly... Hmm. I guess this anime, huh, it's really interesting because I really don't know where we're going to go from here, which, okay, so normally we'd have like a main character that has a goal in mind and they would have told us that goal by now. And so we'd have a general idea of where the anime is going to go, but we don't have that. So honestly, it's kind of weird because we like have no idea where this anime is going so it kind of makes you wonder like why the main character is like going through all of this because we don't know his goal in the end this could all be filler but we don't know and on top of that this is also kind of a good thing because we really don't know what to expect with every new episode they could literally bring in anything and we wouldn't have any idea that it was coming like for me personally i just want to see the aces man if they're still alive, I just want to meet some of the other aces, because if Licked is this cool, then I can't imagine what the other aces are capable of. And I hope we get to see them soon. I know this anime has like 24 episodes, but still, this was episode 7 and we still haven't even seen one of their faces. We kind of saw them like 300 years ago when they were in their full suits of armor, but I'd like to see one of them, at least one of them, now, modern day and see what they're capable of because I'd love to see them all put in some work show us a bit of what it's like to be an ace so those are just my thoughts but anyways I I enjoyed this episode honestly it was funny there was a little bit of action in the end too so they kind of had a little bit of everything a little taste of everything in case you came here for action came here for laughs they had something for everyone so I liked it but if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description. And also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that, I'm going to head out, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.